It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Niners and the Rams, next on Madden Football. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. from SoFi Stadium. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL, a former number one overall pick way back in 2009. It's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford going to throw from the outset. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup, and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. But his defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Stafford now to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. Again, it's Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 44-yard line. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one 28 yards on the ground. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw there complete to Allen. A gain of five. 
And it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. This is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kyron Williams, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Rams will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Like what we saw right there, good running down near the goal line because that was a really good drive. They were able to possess the ball, have some early success moving it downfield, and then clearly the most important thing, finishing things off with the ball in the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. The throwing here, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Purdy to throw it on first down. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. 
And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 33. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Escaping the pressure way. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play for one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner. But to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Purdy. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Just a couple on the ground there. That's going to bring up third and about six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Purdy with it on third and long. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? still trailing it's seven to three so both teams come away with points on their opening drives now they still trail they answered the touchdown with a field goal but at least able to break that goose egg here early and that is what's important right because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered took the ball themselves moved it downfield and put it through the post for three points game on The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Taken at the goal line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And yeah, that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. 
On first and ten, Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. To throw on second down to Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a first down throw, Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine. Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring us to a third and four. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Third and four as they've got it as we resume action. Back to throw, Stafford. That is caught. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 37. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Stafford. They'll get that complete to Parkinson. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. To throw is Stafford. To the right side and complete to Atwell. And he's going to have a Rams first down, and he was able to get it by play. A game of eight on third and three. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down at Stafford. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down at four. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And all the way down inside the five of the four. 
26 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Williams will score. Touchdown, L.A. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Now the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From his end zone, here's Trent Taylor. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 23, here's the second down and six. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. They're able to push his way through, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Holding. Offense. So that run play nullified by the holding call on the tight end. Yeah, I just think he needs to get off the ball a lot quicker and get into the block a little bit more effectively. Then he doesn't have to reach and grab and try and hold on. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Fielded at about the 28. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for the guy. Going. You know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't. I'm not good enough to play Stop. in a fantasy Stop game. It. I enjoy watching you. You're an analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. That's a champion. 
57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, here's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to handle Rams first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a gain of 15, and the Rams have a first down. They looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Up the middle, it's Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. Open that right side is cut complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 18. Stafford is number one guy cut for Los Angeles first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the red zone now, Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. a big force in completion there to bring up third and long and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago they looked like they were headed towards the end zone this offense was on the move now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten out of the gun Stafford he's got his target that's complete and the Rams are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead. And part of that could be attributed to their success on third down. This is another conversion here, and they could look to really open things up now with this first and goal. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. They give it off here to the tight end. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Here's Stafford now on second down. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's 21 to 3. A 10-play drive that time, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles.
the Rams kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Pretty slow complete here to Ayuk. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Purdy. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Stafford on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Here's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Stafford. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second down, Williams. 
And hard running is going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, this Coach, was an extremely one-sided first half. Always, One team showed up, ready to go. For the other been three. in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Purdy now to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Birdie. They bring him down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, she's going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And taken right at the 35. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 43, here's second and a yard. Now Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. 
And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. This is second and eight. and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 12-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They try the left side here with Williams. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are able to stretch out their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Throwing here, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. On third down, here's Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. They go play action here, Purdy. 
Gets this one to use check. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilized more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but some power offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Buying time to his left. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. 12 more yards there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Niners get a bit closer. And to me, the key to a wide receiver run like that is getting around the first edge guy. It's often like a punt returner. Make that first guy miss, because if you can do that successfully and get upfield, we know good things can happen. He's able to take that one into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is down to 28-10. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. 
Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. Now a play fake and it's Stafford. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass, and when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line, 12 yards needed to gain a first down. To throw is Stafford. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the 49ers are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now a second and 10. Here's Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Purdy with it on third and long. That is caught. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Holding offense. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's complete out left to IU. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 
Second and a couple. Now Purdy. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Purdy sets up to throw again. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. This likely a must-have third and goal. Back to throw, Purdy. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Juwan Jennings from eight yards out. And the 49ers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be Previous confirmed by the replay review. official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, ruling on the field. Stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. An extra point try now for Moody. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. 
Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Second and ten. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. A gain there of 21 yards. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now a first down throw, Stafford, a quick pass to Cup, and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Meanwhile, Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. 92 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score it. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Back to throw, Stafford. He's got Cooper Cup on the slant. So five yards here, five on the play. And now we've got a third and three. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Stafford on third down. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have a Rams first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. On first down at Stafford. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip tap, tip tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there, just one yard. 
Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Stafford. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Purdy and the Niners down by two touchdowns. A minute 50 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. To throw is Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They come up now on second and two. Here's Purdy to throw. Eluding the pressure right and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Here's Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here's first and 10. Purdy to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's first down. Throwing, Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. 
everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're gonna try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Purdy to throw. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Purdy looking to throw. here as he's taken down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Rams are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Both defenses had some moments in this one, but I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on Phil. Absolutely, partner. And let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Southern California.